What's the deal, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, everybody. Yeah, big boy Belly's over here. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year. It is January 6th, 1.29 in the morning. Guess what we about to do? Go on our honeymoon. Honeymoon. Guess where we going? Bora Bora. Bora, Bora. And guys, this has been a journey a journey we ain't went nowhere yet it's such a journey but we'll tell you guys all about it right now we're just enjoying our excitement we're going we're packing we leave and we're supposed to be at the airport in two and a half hours mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. two and a half hours so i'm gonna take a two-hour nap <laughs> <laughs> and let's pray to god that i don't sleep past my oh, alarm. that won't be happening i know it's not going to i tend to uh Man, this hair of mine. I tend to do really well when it comes to flights, but really bad when it comes to anything else. So, else. anyway, yeah, guys. So, uh, Jeff has a million and one swimsuits. I don't got no damn swimsuits. <laughs> I don't have any swimsuits. I got swimming swim trunks. But I got, like, yeah, more than I usually do. Yeah, we're we're we uh, can't talk. We're so excited. Uh, we have so many flights. We leave. At, <laughs> no, for real. Our flight take our flight takes off at six in the morning. We have to be at the airport early, early, early. So I would be sleep. I gotta pack a good blanket. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Okay, I gotta pack a good blanket. I gotta pack. I don't know, some books. I gotta make sure all my devices are charged. My arm is getting tired. I'll talk to y'all out there. <laughs> Guys, it's 3.30 in the morning. Just locked Royce up. His babysitter should be here whenever she wants to come. We're tired. And we're off to the airport. Let's go. to go to Houston. All right, YouTube, so we are in San Francisco now. We had, uh, we had, what is this, our third flight we about to get on? The first one landed and we had to pretty much sprint to the next gate so we ain't we ain't had time to really tell y'all what was going on for for you know what i'm saying and I, I ran out of sleep and we finna go to a this is an eight and a half hour flight so i don't know what i'm finna do for eight and a half hours but i don't think i'm gonna be able to go to sleep so uh i might might have some footage for y'all on the airplane who knows who knows hey guys it's me nyla <laughs> Um, we just got notified that our flight got delayed an hour. Apparently, the crew has to have a certain amount of sleep for federal law, and they didn't get enough sleep. They arrived late, and they need to get some sleep. So, we've been delayed an hour, but that's fine for us because right, not that that matters. Right, because we had um, an overnight layover anyway, so we're not tripping. I guess it's just an hour here versus an hour extra in compete. So. Uh, we're just gonna charge our devices and watch some movies, maybe. See you guys in the pee or on the flight Ooh, or in the next clip. Mm -hmm. Bye. We got our own um, necklace, and I think they gave us a blanket because this is an eight hour, eight and a half hour flight. They're giving us dinner, though. They're giving us dinner. We have our own TV. Jeff, show them how to do the TV. Yeah, for y'all American, you know, y'all domestic flyers, y'all wouldn't know nothing about this. Hey, we didn't know nothing about it on the last plane. <laughs> I think this is just a regular thing anyway. But pull up your monitor from down here and when, we you, get when you get the uh, emergency. That's crazy. Anyway, I'm so excited, guys. I added a couple jewels to my hair, you know, vacation vibes. But here we go. Another update guys, so the co-pilot tested positive for COVID, so we have to uh, get them out of there. <laughs> we're delayed another 20 minutes, but they're saying that it could be up to an hour because the new pilot will have to like, you know, do their own procedure and whatnot. So uh, it's fine. Again, like 
we're just gonna spend more time in California than we do and at our overnight layover. So we're not tripping. Okay, update. It is currently 3.53 p.m. in California, San Francisco. So, as we told you guys, the co-pilot tested positive for COVID. They went to call another one. The, us, the backup rushed here, at, went through screenings, tested for COVID, tested positive. This Omicron is just ridiculous. So our flight has been delayed again, and he said there's a chance it might be canceled if they can't find a co-pilot that is COVID negative. So we'll keep you guys updated, and we'll be praying. So yeah. Hey guys, we are finally in San Francisco here. So we have to move to a different gate because everybody keeps getting COVID and whatnot. Well, Mario, I need to stop dancing. So we stop. stop getting it. We are moved to gate, G, we are at G12, now we're G4. <sighs> Jesus, keep telling myself everything happens for a reason. God got this and we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna go on this trip. So when I tell you guys, wait for our story time because this has been such a journey getting to Bora Bora. Like the enemy is really working, but we're gonna get there. Hey, base. Tell them new update. Update. So we went back to G12 from G4 when we were at G12. So we're going to G12 to get on the plane that we just got off to get back on. And hopefully, <laughs> we'll go to Bora Bora soon. Yay! Right, Pacific Standard Time, and we finally got a co-pilot that tested negative for COVID, yeah. <laughs> so we're about to board our flight. We were supposed to take off at two, and now we're taking off at eight, so five hour delay. A long journey it's been. That just means five less hours at the next layover. Right, five less hours at the next layover. See you guys in pop eight. Pop eight. Guys, we're at the 
Chandra at Bora Bora Nui. They got us some nice drinks. Um, I don't know what it is, but they said it's like grapefruit something with some hibiscus something and something Tastes else. Tastes like health. I'm cool with it though. There's a slight sweet taste to it, but it's like water with like a drop of grapefruit. <laughs> but we're so excited. Um, it's raining right now, but it's okay because it's still so beautiful. Right. Like, look at this. It rain better here. Right. It rained. They, they met us with uh, umbrellas and everything. Right. They met us with umbrellas and. Uh, but you know, real niggas don't use umbrellas, so I walked without it. I didn't. I walked with it. <laughs> But no, yeah, it's, it's, you know, wonderful. They keep on greeting us everywhere. As soon as we touch down, there's somebody there to greet us. So yeah. I love it. It's so nice so far, and I'm sure it's going to be great. But looks like she's coming back, so bye. Boar Boar is treating us well. It Still is. day one. We ain't did nothing. We just yeah. got showered. Yeah. So we're about to go and take our first walk through while we look for something to eat because we hungry. Give you guys a tour of the resort, which mm -hmm. is so beautiful. Most definitely. And yeah, so just like look at the I know all you see is trees, but like look at yeah. this. These ain't even American trees though, you know what I'm saying? Like these trees ain't the type of trees that you, you know rake up and stuff like that. You feel me? Like it's coconuts in there. You know what I'm saying? You don't know nothing about that over there in America. You feel me? I mean, we mm -hmm. live it. We loving it. It's day one. We haven't even been here a full day, and we're loving it. So yeah. can't wait to show you guys more. We can't wait to explore more. So let's go. All right, it's your island boy coming back with another tour of Bora Bora. So we just walked down the stairs. As soon as you get to the bottom of the trail, this is what you see. The huts over the water, you know. So we look over to that direction. We got the tennis courts in the distance. We may or may not try some of those. That's complimentary with the resort. So we're gonna take a walk this way, and as we walk, we will see beautiful coconut trees and things of that nature. And then when we walk up to something else, I will point out. There's nothing here yet. Guys, it's so beautiful here. Uh, it's just like look at this. Especially, it's like a hundred thousand times better because it was 12 degrees when we left Michigan. Man, so and good. I heard that they got like six inches of snow last night, so right. thank God so we're here right in this 80 right. degree weather with our shorts and dress on, so. <laughs> Guys, we're eating lunch. We're trying this. Um, bora Bora. Mocktail, you know, we're not drinkers, but here we go. It's really pretty, and the straws are bamboo. It's just kind of thick. I can't really... This is really good. This skinny one, no, I can't get nothing out of this skinny one. Oh, it's two different, huh? It's so good. Oh, yeah, it's good for sure. It's making me work too hard. We'll show y'all what we ordered for lunch. Sorry, y'all. You're not going to see nothing exotic on my plate. Never ever. I ordered a chicken I'm gonna try sandwich. To get, I'm going to try to eat something crazy every time. Not that I says the pox, but yum yum. Food is here and it came quick. Look at this. I got a chicken sandwich. I thought it was going to be normal, but... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a island boy. Chicken sandwich. What you get, babe? I forgot. You got coconut fish, some fish, right? Some type of fish. And then the rice, so, yeah. We just had lunch. We're gonna stay on the resort today. Jeff about to get his butt busted in volleyball. All right, y'all, we out here at the volleyball court. Jeff about to get his butt beat. No words, no, bro. I'm talking. I got no words, bro. Watch this.
Nyla what? Nyla Calloway. <laughs> and this is my husband, Jeff. Jeff what? Jeff Calloway. And together we are the Calloway. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Anyway guys, look at this humidity. Like my hair is just coming undone. And it's just over. So let y'all like these locks. Like these luscious locks. She and Bora Bora talking about, please don't wet my hair. I'm not. It's just we're doing a water activity tomorrow. And I'm going to get it wet tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. So I would just like my hair to last. And I'm probably going to just wear it up. So it's not too bad. But anyway, guys, this is so beautiful. I know it's only day one. But this resort is so nice. Y'all hear the music in the background? Yeah, we taught them that. We taught them that. But you guys like my swimsuit. I got it from Shein. It's high-waisted and I've wanted high-waisted for the longest. So, here's the high-waisted. It's a little cheeky, but it's okay because my husband likes it. I didn't really know what to expect here. You know, this is not something that I dreamed of like she did. So I was just coming because she said, you know, she wanted to come, you feel me? So we had to make it happen. But this is, I don't think you can really get this type of experience nowhere else. So I'm glad we did come. You have to come to Bora Bora to experience this type of like vibe, you know what I'm saying? So, and like she said, it's only like three o'clock day one, you know what I'm saying? So we still got a lot to see and a lot to do. Anyway, guys, we're really enjoying ourselves. Today was more of our chill day, but tomorrow we're gonna go snorkeling with stingrays and sharks. And I'm so excited. He I is- I left the blip yet at the crib. We lacking out he's here. He's scared, man. but I'm excited. So I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. We have more activities to come, so. Look at all these fishes. Look at all those fish. Oh my, look at all those chickens. Uh, uh maybe not. Look y'all, they got live music. I don't know if y'all can see. Chuck in here. What did they just bring to our room? What did they? Champagne. Ooh. On the on the rocks. Need some type of chocolate. Ooh, chocolate strawberries? No. Dang. That's what I thought it was, you know. Okay, okay, okay. A little honeymoon, something, something, I guess. A little something, something. Something, something. We got room service. What's the food looking like, Jeff? Ooh. Pizza. And then burger and fries. Nice, nice. That's swordfish. Oh, okay. You know, it's gotta be a little different. Good morning from Bora Bora. I'm still an island boy. Laurana, we learned that. It means, it's like a greeting. It means like welcome or something or good morning or good evening. It's we'll just a greeting. It out before we leave. Yeah, but they said it to us all day yesterday. <laughs> so I think it just means like welcome or something or hi or something. It's like a greeting anyway. <laughs> so today we have our first excursion we are going snorkeling with stingray and sharks i'm very excited it's also a full day lagoon tour so they'll be providing us with lunch which reminds me that i need to go get my waterproof case all right i'm back with my waterproof case i got this in mexico when we were in mexico we really wanted one at, for our water excursion and we bought it afterwards and i haven't used it since 2018 so i have a chance to use our waterproof case anyway Today is our excursion. We're so excited. I'm out of breath. There's so many stairs walking to our um, hut. So, but it's just, it's just so, 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 so nice out here. Just look at this view. Bro, what time? It's like 7.30, bro. The sun be booming at five in the morning here, bro. Jeff was up at, just look at this. Just beautiful, beautiful weather. Jeff was up at three. Three in the morning, which because is because that's eight at home. It's bro. eight o'clock at yeah. home, and I was up by like five, which is um, five ten, which is normal for me on a weekend. I like to sleep in, yeah. so you know we're just gonna show you what we do today. We have breakfast, complimentary breakfast, until we leave. So they're gonna pick us up around nine twenty. So we have a good two hours ish to just explore. Fresh 
squeezed orange, orange squeezed and fresh squeezed watermelon juice. Because what is this? And this is just what is what? the rice. Fried rice. Leave me alone. It's new. <laughs> and then Jeff got some, what is this, sushi? That's sushi. I don't even know what kind of fish it is, though. And some. A bunch of breads and then eggs and bacon and sausage. Nice. On this beautiful day, guys, it is so nice. And Jeff has on socks. What the heck? We we go we go sockless we go sockless in Bora Bora. Oh, we go sockless in Bora Bora. You gotta bring the hood with you sometimes. Oh my goodness, the hood stay with him. The hood stay with him. Tell him again. <laughs> the hood stay with him. Come on, now bring the signal on my back. Stop look at his shirt. Look at his shirt. Detroit go crazy. Shout out to Juwan, baby. You hear me? <laughs> Man, guys, I can never get over this. I'm about to say like, I, I hope we don't get on y'all nerves by keep showing y'all the views, but like, they don't get old. I literally will never get over this. Every single time there's a view like this, my camera's coming out. Yeah. Just look at this. I'm about to go swimming with Steve. After the second flight, after the second flight. Of this. Wait till I get my yard. <sighs> oh, they're scared. The shark's scared. They're scared. Because <laughs> they walked away. Come on, guys. Okay, here. <laughs> saw a coral. It was so sweet. We saw a, um, what was it? 
a clam, a few clams. There's a lot of them. What's a seahorse. Guys, seahorses have like nothing. Super tiny. Super yeah, super tiny, super long. These are super straight. Some of them do, he said, it curves. Some of them do have curves, but these were yeah, all these, the way straight. Yeah, these ones that we saw were completely straight. Oh, wow. Y'all, typical Nyla. I done injured myself. Scraping myself, getting back in. Leave it to Nyla. Okay. <laughs> Change the leaves that we can use many times. Mm -hmm. Okay. In your menu, you have salad rice, chicken, mango, papaya, banana, mm -hmm. coconut cake, and coconut tray. Mm -hmm. And you have water and pineapple juice included. <laughs> Jeff, tell them what we are having for lunch. So this is papaya. Mm -hmm. We have coconut cake. We have mango. This is some form of chicken. Is it chicken? I believe it's chicken. Banana. Then this is rice. And then coconut bread. And what are we having to drink? Pineapple. Yes, guys. I'm trying new foods. I'm just loving it here. So I learned that they don't have a lot of water. Like the water supply that comes from their rain. I mean, it, I guess it rains here pretty often because it's tropical, but she says she has to use the rain to shower, to drink, to clean. So it's kind of like a lot, but I'm really loving it here. We learned a lot on our little tour. Bora Bora um, Resort. The first resort was built in 1961 and it's no longer open, the original. And then. Um, a lot of the new resorts, the beaches are man-made. Like they buy the sand and then bring it over. There's only one natural beach here. I reported it for you guys. Okay, I didn't know if you could hear it though. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think it's on a resort, it's just part of it. We're living it up. We're learning, appreciating the culture here. It's really hard for me though, with the food to step out of my comfort zone. But everything I eat is different than what we have in the States. Well, should I say Michigan? Because I'm sure there are some like, there's papaya. This is papaya, right? Mm -hmm. Papaya. And then we're eating mango. And bro, the way they prepare their chicken. Mwah, chef's kiss. No, but it's lit. And I'm just really loving it here. <laughs> yes. And then now you are the broken the coconut guys for the eyes. You have the line over the middle. Yes, one, two, three. You know? Only one time. You can drink in the water, baby. Samantha? Drink? Oh, sorry. It's very aphrodisiac water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Drink more, drink more, drink more. I thought it drew. It's not bad. And it doesn't taste like. Okay. Alright, we're going to go. It's warm. It's just warm. Wow, it's cooking as well. Okay. Amali just. Give me a bit of the tea. Tea, you help you. It's good? It's broken? Yeah, good one. Okay, drinking. Thank you. And then it's very sweet for the water. Huh? Yes, Why is it sweet for the white, for the coconut? This oh. one. And then I'll just my coconut. Oh. That one, guys. Huh? The first one to make for the shaped coconut for the lady, I get up now. Okay, for me, easy. Okay. You can 
can do it, my friend. <laughs> yep. Let's go. Action. Okay, lady. How is it your two today, lady? Good. <laughs> lady, who told you? <laughs> What's happened? Okay, okay. Yes. Mm, now for your husband. Yeah. Your milk? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want first one milk, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now eat on the coconut, yeah, more, more, yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah, miam miam move, yeah, miam miam eat, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so we're gonna change our outfits at least twice a day because <laughs> we, brought we're, we brought outfits and I might be a little sunburnt because we left our sunscreen. Like, look at my chest, it's red. Was messed up though. She came back from the excursion straight and then she tried to go outside to fill in her tan lines and got I burned. was trying to even out my tan lines so I went outside and laid on the patio and, and burned herself. I don't think I burned myself then. I just feel like it just didn't present itself until now, you know? And then my nose is a little red too, so. But it doesn't hurt. So I feel like my burnt is just peeling because when I was in Puerto Rico, I think I burnt, but it was just a peel. And Jeff thinks he burnt his shoulders. It don't look red. Your no, skin looks really good. Like but yeah, guys, you know, I got to show you this view because it's whew, unreal. Unreal. But we're about to walk to the top of some hill that's the best view of the island because we have time. It is 6 o'clock right now, and we burnt some calories playing the Oculus, beating each other's high scores, and then we took a long shout. It wasn't even long because they water get real cold real fast. So it get real cold. It gets cold real fast. She likes to be boiling herself in the summer. Anyway, this sweat on my face. It'll make it look so oily. But we'll show you guys the beautiful view. I'm going to take some more Instagram pictures. Follow me on Instagram at Nyla Kelly. And, you know, like it up. So here we go. I haven't showed you guys this side of the resort. These are some water bungalows. And then this is the artificial... Um, beach that Jeff was talking about earlier. This is the best view of the island. They do not lie. Wow. Oh my gosh. Long ago, there lived a hero named Hero, who had the power to hide in the rocks and claim to be the strongest man in the world. His son, Narama, had the power to transform himself into animals. One night, two evil spirits heard about Hyrule, I'm calling Hyrule the hero, and decided to challenge him. Hyrule made sure that the fight lasted until sunrise, and the spirits feared the daylight. After hours of fighting, the spirits tried to escape, were caught by the sun, and turned into Modus, Pitiutu and Pitu died. Following his victory, Hyra declared himself invincible and continued his conquest of, of the island. But his son Marama challenged him to a duel to prevent this. Marama proposed a game of jacks, Timo of five. The principle is simple. Throw a stone in the air, quickly pick up as many pebbles as possible and catch the stone that was thrown. Hyra found this strange but took up the challenge. Sure of his strength, Hyra threw his stone very high because he had an extraordinary strength. Marama sang to divert his father's attention and accumulate pebbles without his knowledge. Hyro, dazzled by his own strength, saw nothing. Marama won the duel, and later, Hyro started to suspect his sons had cheated. He decided to find him and punish him. Marama transformed himself into a bird and hid on the mountain of Bora Bora. Hyro, furious, pursued him and hid in the middle of the rock to surprise his son, then gave him a big slap to teach him not to cheat and to respect his elders. Marama transformed into a bird, cried. The mountain was named Taitimanu, the crying bird. On this mountain, Hyro's handprint remained engraved, and the other summon of Bora Bora was named Pai Marama. Marama was slapped. The history. Bora Bora is a volcanic island, Mount Otimanu, 
Located in the center of Atoll is an ancient volcano 3 million years old. It accumulates the island at 727 meters high. It is on the slopes of this sacred site that the inhabitants used to live happily, in the middle of mango trees and chestnut trees, before the missionaries forced them to descend in order to better dominate them. The peak of Mount Otumanu has an amazing shape that can be seen from many places on the island. The volcano from which it emerged is gradually subsiding, leaving a crown of motus forming the lagoon in the middle of which the main island is located. Polynesians do not talk about volcanoes. They do not count in millions of years. They prefer to evoke their Tupunus ancestors and pass on legends in order to tell their story and to perpetuate their culture. Man, guys. I, I'm not gonna get over this trip. I'm really not. And I'm not gonna stop talking about it to the people that I see in person. I'm gonna be like, you wanna see some pictures? You wanna hear about what happened? Can't wait to tell you guys how long it took to get here to make us even more appreciative of being here. <laughs> I'm so tan. Me and Jeff are the same color. Okay. Hello guys from Bora Bora. Yeah, island boy. It is day three. Yeah. We're burnt. So we forgot to wear our sunscreen yesterday. And I don't know if you can tell. I mean, it looks like a nice golden tan, mm. but it's red. Really, oh, you can see it very well. Yeah. It's really red. And Jeff's burnt too. This is his first time being burnt. Yeah, it don't look like a burn on me at all though, but it's like, so I was sitting on the front of the boat when we did the stingray thing and the sun just started beaming out of nowhere. So like everything for on my back from here up was all in the sun so it's just it, it's tender to the touch right now but yeah. that's pretty much it so we were supposed to go fly boarding today we have to cancel that just know um a lot of good story times coming from this uh, honeymoon experience yeah. We finally get to enjoy our last day here. Well, we still have tomorrow morning, so we're gonna eat breakfast tomorrow, but we're gonna, you know, take some pictures because we got on matching outfits, kinda, because mine's more of a cream, his is white. Anyway, I talk a lot. Yeah, so, yeah. Room service, dinner. How cute. This is so sad. <laughs> This is the end of what I'm going on. Until next. Guys, I ate something different. This isn't even, I don't even know if it's Tahitian food, but the Chinese chicken food. is. Japanese food. I ate a chicken wonton for the first time, and it's really good. I like it. Look, me and Jeff are the same color. I've tanned so much. I also got some scars on this trip. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Like every trip. <laughs> we realized we was looking at our Mexico trip. <laughs> I she really be messing, messing up my up knee. Every vacation, bro. Same <laughs> knee. And it always be on like excursions. Hey guys. Our trip is over. We are so sad. We're so sad because it was so nice. We're for sure coming back one day. Like the weather is so nice. I'm gonna be much richer next time we come back. I got a scar to for the memories. I got a memories for the memories. Look how thick that is. This is so, so look at this tan. I look so good. <laughs> she burned the mess out of herself. I did not burn. Look, it's turning into such a nice tan. I like right. this color on me. We talking a lot. All right, y'all. So we in this airport for eight more hours. Until United comes to get us out of Papete. Papete. So 
<laughs> we hope y'all enjoy this video like we enjoyed the vacation they gave us a new Island boy. Cuban link, you feel me? Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. From your island boy, the island boy. I'm a just island boy. Don't <laughs> even embarrass me on trip with that crap. All right, y'all. We out of here, bro.